This presentation will review mortgage file classification, reducing the cost of scanning, classifying, and indexing mortgage folders. First, we want to look at the business case. Why would we want to implement this technology? First off, we can eliminate separator pages, printing costs, document insertion, and document removal. Eliminate the training of staff to accurately identify proper document types. There's going to be greater accuracy of classification of document types. We can manage the increased volume without adding staff. We can reduce the time for document capture to online availability through the use of automation. And we can use distributed capture to eliminate copying and overnight shipping. Coming here, what we're going to do is we have uh, 10 documents or so that uh, are coming in without any separator sheets or barcodes. Uh, they're just coming in as a mortgage folder. Go into the FSOFT product. When we set it up, we can essentially set up separate batch classes. So you may have a mortgage uh, loan processing you're doing. You could have PDF generation. You may have uh, invoices, other document types that you're processing within the system. You can define this by user and, and by validation rules and by output file. But um, in this case, we're just going to look at a mortgage application. So after the system has processed the data, we have two tabs here. One is document review and one is document validation. I'll look at document review first. In the screen layout, we see the documents as classified on the left. In the middle, we see the document types that we can select from. And on the right, we have a blow up of the image. We support various shortcuts, so you don't have to have your fingers ever leave the key keyboard and touch the mouse. This uh, supports very fast keying. So let's review what the operator would look at. So again, remember, we started with a set of documents that came in, various document types. We don't know what they are. Uh, the system was trained to recognize them. FSOP then process the, processes them and identifies them. So you can see in document one, it's red, a red check mark, a red question here because we're not sure what it is. It thinks it's a HUD one. We look at it, certainly it is a HUD one, so it's correct. If it was incorrect, we could select from other document types here. But what it's essentially told us is this is a four page HUD one, and that's good. Document two has been classified, and it's a green arrow. That means it's correct, so there's no need to look at it, but let's look at it so we can show you what it did. So it identified it as a transmittal summary, and again, you can see it's a transmittal summary. That's correct. Document three is a three-page loan application, as identified. I can flip to the pages if I want. And these documents can be various pages. The loan application doesn't always have to be three pages. It could be one page, it could be three page, it could be five pages. Uh, it will still identify this document and separate it out from the rest. Document four is a one-page good faith estimate. So we can see everything was successfully identified. In this case, we would have only stopped on doc one. We would have said it's okay and moved on. That's the first step. Now, if we wanted to extract data from the documents, we go to the validation phase. In the validation phase, we have the screen, same screen layout, the difference being that this section down here, we're actually extracting data from the document. So I look, if I zoom in and look at the document, we're extracting the loan number here. And this is an unstructured loan processing. So what that means is rather than a template approach, we're looking for data such as loan number, file number, maybe the pattern of the numbers next to it, and based on those rules, we're finding this data. So you can give me uh, many types of HUD-1s, and with only one definition of an algorithm, I'm still going to be able to find that value. Go to the next field, file number. You can see we pulled that off again with the same types of relationships. Finally, sales price. Again, in a different area, based on the words and, and tags that we're looking at, we find the value. Also, we have an error message up here. Uh, we can't have a comma, so it correct, we correct that. So the only field I would have had to stop on was this one with the red highlighting. That means it's an error, operator corrects it. And one other feature we have here is instant OCR. So if you're on a field and for some reason you couldn't find it or, or it wasn't in the right place, you could simply click on anywhere else on the form and do what's called click OCR, instant OCR, various terms for that. That allows an operator to go to any field they want and uh, essentially uh, click on a field and pull off whatever other any value they want with instant OCR. All right, once we're done with that process, we produce an output file. The output file consists of the images, both PDF and TIFF, and an XML file. XML file has all the document types and data. Uh, this can be as complex as you want, or if you just wanna empty this into a document management repository, we have release scripts that do that automatically. 
One success story we have had, in the initial implementation, the customer was looking at 150 document types in a mortgage folder. It took them three days to set the application up. They only used two samples per document type to train the system. Currently in production, they have 220, 220 document types defined. The system is achieving 85% of first pass classification success, and they are processing over 6 million pages per year. Soon they'll be doing using extraction to take metadata off of the documents. If you need further questions answered or more information, please contact us at the information below or on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or YouTube.